Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this nice, breathtaking space environment version right here. And you're probably wondering why it says space environment in hand. This is because I actually created this video tutorial earlier on. It was actually my first Adobe After Effects tutorial, and it wasn't that great. It didn't look that great. And it used Particle World, and it just didn't look that great at all. And I'm ashamed to keep out my channel right now, but it's getting tons of views, and uh, I don't want to delete it at all. So. I'm going to create an updated version right here, the more enhanced version. It, as you can see, it looks a lot better than the previous version. And we're going to be using a third-party plugin called Particular, version 2 actually. And, you know, I've been hesitating to create tutorials using third-party plugins because I know some of you guys don't have third-party plugins. But now that I see the trend that a lot of my viewers have third-party plugins, they have optical flares, they have form, particular. I'm going to start doing more tutorials on particular and form of the trap code suite and other third-party plugins. Because I know it, they're really they're really good and they look good and they're e easier to use than the built-in tools in After Effects. But don't worry, I'll still be using After Effects built-in tools tutorials. I'll be still, yeah, I'll still be doing those video tutorials. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be using particular from Trap Code. And so let's get started with this video tutorial. As you see, we have the lens flare here, the smoke particles. I'm gonna try to create the smoke particle in particular, and the star particles and the forest text. So everything's used, everything's done by particular. Let's get started with this video tutorial. Let's create a new composition right here. New composition. I'm going to name mine tutorial. Of course, you can name your space environment, whatever. I'm going to change mine to 720 by 405 for fast rendering purposes. And we're going to make it 20 seconds long or so. Then click OK. So we now have a blank composition. And then we're going to hit Command or Control Y to create a new layer. We're going to name this BG. Make it comp size. Black. So we have something to work with. And then we're going to create another background. Control Command Y to create a new solid. And we're going to name this Particles Star. And we're going to make it comp size again, black. I'll click OK. And now we're going to go to the effects and presets and search in particular under trap code. Bring that in. So now when we move in the timeline, you see particles emitting. And so the first thing we want to do is go to the emitter right here. And we're going to scroll down to the pre-run and we're going to boost up to 100 because we want the particles to be born at the very beginning we don't want it to emit and then be born so it's already emitted right here and then as you see that the particles are emitting from one center point we don't want that we want it to emit everywhere so we're going to change the emitter type to, from point to box so now they emit everywhere but the box is kind of small right here so we're going to change the emitter size so they emit at a wider area, increase the X axis to fill in the whole frame, and the Y, and then of course we're going to add some depth to this, so we're going to increase the Z axis quite a bit, so we create this nice 3D space environment, pull that way back, like that, and so we're also going to go to the particle tab, and the first thing we're going to do is change the life to about 20 seconds, make it as long as your composition or so, maybe 15. And then the particle feather, sphere feather, I don't like to keep mine feathered at all, it looks blurry and doesn't look as sharp. So we're going to set the sphere feather to about 10 to give it more of a crisp look. And the size, we're going to pump it all the way down to maybe 2. I like my particle small, maybe even 1.5 or 1.2. So they're pretty small like that, looking good. And then size over life, we're going to open that up. And we would want it as a pyramid. So we want them to be born small, get larger, and then once they start dying, they go down. So click the pyramid one right here. It should be the third one on the right. And then opacity over life, we want the same thing. We want a pyramid. So once they're born, they slowly turn to opaque, and then they're going to fade out. So we have something like this. So now we have an environment, and the particles are moving everywhere. And then we're going to set the transfer mode to add. And then, but what we're going to do is change the velocity right here to about 20 because they're moving way too fast. So now they're moving pretty slow. And let's ram preview this. So as you see, they're just moving around, chilling out there. Now we want to increase the emitter size on the Y just a little bit. Like so. And maybe decrease the particles per second because I think that's way too many particles. Maybe about 50. So we get this nice decent amount. And then we're going to create the smoke layer now. So click on the particle star layer 
I'm going to hit Control or Command D to duplicate. So now we have two of the same exact layer. Except this time, we're going to go to the particle and change from sphere to cloudlet so we get some cloudlets. It doesn't look like cloud, cloudlets at all right now, but we're going to fix that. We're going to go to the particle size under here. And we're going to crank it up pretty high to about around 50. And then we're going to change the opacity to 0.5 or so. So as you see here, we have some smoke particles right here. Now for this video tutorial, you know, I can see the smoke particles just fine, but you might not be able to see the smoke at all. So I'm going to leave my opacity pretty high up, but remember when you're working, you want to lower that down. I'm going to set the color to about a blue, because I don't like my smoke exactly white. So you get this nice, cool feeling right here. And just increase the size a little bit more. And size random about 25%. And remember to lower the opacity down when you're actually working with this. You can also hit T on the layer and decrease, decrease the opacity like that to give you a little bit more control overall because I don't like the opacity option right here. I'm going to rename this smoke layer. So that's our smoke and we have our particles now. And as you see, they're just moving around and it's looking pretty good. So what we need to do now is add our lens flare. So control or command Y, create a new layer, name it lens flare. And I'll be using optical flares from Video Copilot. It looks really nice. So optical flares under Video Copilot, drag that in to the lens flare layer and change the transfer mode to add. So it's added into our scene. Just grab the point and position it to the left side right here and let's go to the options and change the lens flare because I don't like that lens flare right now and we'll just use a preset for now I'm gonna go to the pro presets and add a north star I'm gonna delete some of the irises and glow this one and just customize it the way you want and click OK so now we have our lens flare right there and I think we should add a streak so let's go to the options again and let's just add a streak and that should be fine so now we have a streak right here and what we're going to do now is actually of course you can um, keyframe the evolution so the lens flare move a little bit add a little more life you can do that on your own I only have a minute left or so so let's create our text get the text tool Type in space environment and I'm going to change my font color to white and of course bring the title safe up so we can center it properly. Hit P and just position it to around there. And just like that we have our space environment. Turn the title safe off. And of course everything moves, of course we have our star particles moving, our smoke layer moving, and of course you can animate your lens flare. So basically this is an updated version of the, sp the space environment. I know it's not that great of a space environment completely, but it's a lot better than the one I made before. And it just looks a lot better, and of course we're using third party plugins, so those of you who have particular, and I didn't cover it yet, I hope you learned something, and alright, thanks for watching guys, subscribe, rate, and comment, and thanks for watching.